All right, let's see up some money. All right, as soon as you get through writing now, set your crystal ball in your lap. I just got through reading a stack of letters before I left my office a few minutes ago from people all over the United States telling me how the Loose My Money prayer is bringing new and exciting experiences of money into their lives. You know why? Because that Loose My Money prayer helps them to prophesy money. Somewhere in the Bible, the book of Acts, it tells about one of the apostles, uh, one of the ministers that had seven daughters that did, that were virgins that did prophesy. And these are pure states within your subconscious mind. These seven virgins which do prophesy are pure states within your subconscious mind that think good, that think God's thought. Every thought is a prophecy. Repeat that. Every thought is a prophecy. My every thought is a prophecy. My every belief is a prophecy. Now we're about to give the money treatment in this crystal ball lesson. We've already given the treatments for good health. And if you believe the treatment for good health, it is a prophecy for good health. The world prophesies all kinds of negatives. And you see, if you don't make your own prophecies, you will have to live under the prophecy of the world. You will have to fulfill the prophecies of the world. Say with me, I must make my own prophecies. I must make my own prophecies. Say it again. The third time. And you see, this is the Father's business. This is the Father's work. Every day you'd better get busy making your own prophecies. If you don't make your own prophecies, again, you will have to fulfill the negative prophecies of the world. The prophecy of the world is that if you're black, you're underprivileged. Damn that prophecy. Say that. And that's a spiritual prayer. That's a good prayer. That's a holy prayer. Even the Master Jesus said, He that believeth not shall be damned. See, I'm not out of the book, not even with my damned. <laughs> he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. In other words, if you believe God, if you believe good, if you believe health, you'll be saved from sickness. If you believe success and prosperity, you shall be saved from poverty and failure. If you believe for love and happiness, you shall be saved from hatred and depression. If you believe for money, you shall be saved from being broke. But he that believeth not, the master said, shall be damned. Get busy making your own prophecies. What am I prophesying for myself today? Write that question down and get busy with it every day. What am I prophesying for myself right now? Look into your own crystal ball. Be your own crystal ball gazer. And what you see in your mind is what you'll get. The world, one of the world's damnable prophecies is this business of old and feeble. That's a prophecy of the world mind. Now, if you don't prophesy good health and strength for yourself, then you'll be damned by the prophecy of the world mind. You understand that? It's crystal clear. Say that. It's crystal clear. All right, repeat after me now. I clearly see money and all good. I clearly see money and all good. With the divine eye of God in me. I clearly see myself. Receiving money. Receiving using, money using money. Giving money. Giving money enjoying money. 
more and more money. I clearly see myself with more and more money to use and pay my bills. I clearly see that I am the master of money. Money is not my master. Not my master. I think right about money. I, I do write about money. I enjoy money in right ways. Thank God for ever flowing, overflowing money. I see it clearly. I feel it. Thank you, God, for money and all good. Let's stand now for the finale of prophecy. What's the crystal ball? Clear mind. A crystal clear mind. Who is the crystal ball gazer? Yes, you are the crystal ball gazer. And you are to look into the clarity of your mind and see what you want to be, to do, and to have. See yourself already being, doing, and having the good which you desire. This is prophesying. All of your thoughts, moods, attitudes, and ideas are prophecies. Please let me belabor this point before I turn you loose. You see, all of your life you've been prophesying and not knowing it. The world is always prophesying. Every day you pick up the newspaper, it's full of prophecies. Okay, okay, talk to me. Yeah. Prophecies of evil. If you don't make your own prophecies of good, you are going to fulfill the prophecies of evil in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to a point of self-mastery is not optional. That's not optional. That's why I say to you about these classes, these classes are not optional. It's not a matter, well, it's too cold tonight, or this is Friday night, I can't go, or this is Tuesday, and i got an early day to get up tomorrow to go to work. Whatever keeps you from learning your self-mastery will always keep you enslaved. That's right. All right, honey. You can get your paper and write that down. She wants to grab a paper and write that down. I'll say it again. Whatever keeps you from learning your self-mastery We'll always keep you enslaved. I don't care if it even is a good job. I'm going to lay it on you like this. It's this heavy. We talk about freedom, freedom, freedom. Most of the folks who talk about freedom don't know what freedom is. Any person that does not come to the point of his own divine self-mastery is a slave. You're a slave until you become your own divine self-master. <laughs> Slaves are those who don't know any better than to believe the prophecies of the world, to believe everything they read in the newspaper, to believe everything they hear on television, including some preachers. A pop song had the right idea. Quote, I will take my life into my hands and I will use it. Say that with me. Come on. I will take my life into my hands and I will use it. I'll take up my own divine self-mastery. I'll take charge of my own mind, and I'll think God's thoughts. I'll think health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and money.
I don't care how much the newspaper prophesies about recession and depression. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's my prophecy. Are you ready to prophesy? All right, then I want you to repeat after me. I don't care how much they talk about recession. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And that is my prophecy. God gives me all things richly to enjoy. And that is my prophecy. And that is my prophecy. God says in the Bible, I will take sickness away from the midst of you. I am your healer. I am the Lord that heals you. That is my prophecy. My prophecy is good health. Good health, good health, good health, good health. Total well-being. My prophecy is happiness and love. That's my prophecy. My prophecy is success and prosperity. Success and prosperity, success and prosperity. Success and prosperity, success and prosperity, success and prosperity, success and prosperity. That is my prophecy. I will hear no other. I look into the crystal ball of my mind and I see it clearly. And I will see no other. This is my prophecy. I don't care what the world says about the lack of money. Right here and right now. I seal my ears. To the negative prophecies of the world about the lack of money my ears are sealed against all that mess God is the same God God is the same good God is the same money God is the same shepherd God is the same way maker God is the same miracle worker God is the same provider. This is my prophecy. This is my prophecy. And I will hear no other. So it is. It cannot be otherwise. And I rejoice because of it. Thank you, God, in me. Thus endeth the lesson, you may be seated.